afternoon, my ladies in YouTube, and welcome to the neighborhood. How are you this fall day here near Na Asheville? Not Asheville, here near Nashville where I live. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous fall day. And so, uh, just want to welcome you to fall. Also, you know, want to give my support and love and you know, encourage all of us to do what we can, whether that's donate or any way that you can help the people in Puerto Rico. Let's do that. I send my love and I have donated. We'll can, you know, if I can do something, it was a little bit, but again, I sometimes have to break things down. I'll try to donate again sometime. Um, and it's one of those things in the world that we all have to band together to help each other because you never know when you may be one of the ones who needs a little help. And that is that. And so next, moving on, what I really wanted to talk about today is being 50 plus powerfully. And um, the name of my business as a life coach is um, Powerfully You. But I wanted to talk about being 50 plus, I'm gonna put this down a little bit, powerfully. Um, Living your life, and what I mean by that is living your life, enjoying life, and even though you're 50 plus, enjoying that. I know now that as we age, it's a little bit different than when, you know, our mothers and grandmothers, as they reached 50 and so forth, um, you know, things were a little bit different. And sometimes I feel like, and that can still happen today, we get in grandma mode or we can, and it's nothing wrong with that because I'm a mother, a grandmother, um, aunt, you know, a wife, all of those roles and all of us have similar roles. I just want to encourage us to be the best you can be. We all have different flavors and styles of how we like to look, but I always say if I'm going to be 50 plus, I'm going to do a jazz leaf. You know, if that's a word, jazzy is what I'm trying to say, that I'm going to be jazzy with it and, you know, work with my style and do it to the best of my ability. You know, and, you know, some women are really love the natural look and I do too at certain times, but I am not opposed to anything that makes you feel and look confident and beautiful to you. You know, because even to me, beauty comes from the inside out. So you have to feel the beauty within you. And no, you may not be a size two anymore, you know, or what on some of those things that as we age, things um, happen. But you take all that you got and you do the best you can with it. And you feel good and vibrant with that. And besides that, I have seen... Uh, some really beautiful women that are 50 plus hitting 60. And I, it's not always about this outside beauty, though they are beautiful on the outside too, but I think they have a radiant glow. And I think that glow comes from inward, inside of yourself, just being confident who you are, loving where you are at this time in life because of the life experiences that you've had, really not even... Um, you know, feeling regretful about those life experiences that you've had in the past because all of them are the sum total of who you are today. And that's kind of how I feel. I've not had some of the best life experiences, but I have had some wonderful experiences. And I think you always got to look at the positive, if anything. And even if, you know, you've had some knockdown experiences, the jubilation and the gratefulness in that, even though I've been knocked down a few times, baby, I have gotten back up. There is nothing like that kind of resilience in the spirit of a woman. And I feel like that kind of resilience shines through on you. So, and I've said this before in my videos, uh, it is great to be beautiful on the outside, but I think one of the great things about aging is you have learned to be beautiful from the inside and then allow that to go on the outside. But I just feel like even though we're aging and you know things are changing with us, we can still be fashionable 
and wear things that we like, you know, uh, reasonable for our age, but then really who defines what is, because to me, there are some women who can pull off a mini skirt because they have great legs. So I don't feel like we have to follow those fashion rules of the past. If you have the features to work it, then work it. Personally, for me, I can't wear a mini skirt. You know, I don't feel like I can, but uh, but I can wear a needlem skirt or a pencil skirt with the top and pull that off just beautifully, you know? So we all have to work with what, what we got. And we can take some of the fashion finds that um, some of the younger women wear and put a spin to it. Personally for me, I have a little midriff <laughs> here and a little bulge here and there. So I wouldn't feel, you know, I personally wouldn't feel real good wearing a crop top and plus I'm, you know, 58 years old. However, you know, I do feel, and I've seen people do that, put the crop top with maybe a um, close-knit sweater underneath. So really, it isn't any skin showing, and it's another fashion plan. And then put on a nice necklace or jewelry piece with that, and it looks great. So sometimes we can, we have to spin it to our age. Today, I, if you can see it, I have on a... Um, maxi dress which i've worn many times on my channel um on and off but my spin for today is that i put i love this kimono um and i'm just trying to show it to you a little bit the sleeves and everything it's a longer kimono kimono going mostly um to the knee or whatever and i like to wear this kimono with jeans um and a nice top I put it on sometimes with a maxi and just in this fall weather where you kind of don't know um, whether it's gonna be warm or cool where you are this is a nice layering piece and it allows you to wear maybe some maybe tighter um, clothing uh, maybe a dress or some jeans or something like that you could be a little bit more risky on the inside of this and throw the kimono over it and it adds a little touch of class and flair. To me, these kimonos are like a floating scarf, basically, and you can do as you will with them. And what I'm trying to say and what I'm encouraging women of 50 plus is that we don't have to follow the fashion rules of the past, that we can take even some of those things that you shouldn't do, you know, that we were taught at this age, you shouldn't wear this and you shouldn't wear that and da 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 you take it and spin it to the best, your best feature. You spin it to what looks good on you. And we can still do whatever we choose to do at this age and still look good. You know, because some people are like, if you're 50 plus, you really should have a short haircut to da 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 da. You know, and, um, well, personally, I, I wear hair pieces, wigs, whatever I feel for today. Uh, weaves or whatever so sometimes I spin it however I want it to look for that time you know but I just feel like that is not necessarily a rule that is true you can wear your hair short mid-length like I have it or longer and I've seen women you know wear all of those things and look really good it really is about you and you spin it to look good on you that is what and some people can you know get away i feel like you can get away like i said with a mini skirt there are some women who you are 50 plus baby and your body is sculpted and you could wear a crop top and some jeans you know if that is you do you is really what i'm saying but we don't have to go in the closet anymore we don't have to um go off somewhere to the side because we're 50 plus and feel like life is, is supposed to pass us by now no go out enjoy life do you be beautiful be you be powerful that is my motto for everything and i just want to encourage women who are 50 plus even if at this age you wanted to start a new career or do something totally different but it's something that you've always wanted to do don't let age define you go ahead Go for it. Go for the gusto. At this age in my life, I started a new career.
career, you know, and I've been doing it now for four or five years, but as a life coach, it's something I've always wanted to do. It's something I feel like I'm good at and helping and partnering and empowering people. But it was after 50 or so, or maybe right at 50 that I found this and went for it. So I encourage women my age or older, you know, go for whatever it is. You still have life left and you have life left until the last breath. Do what you want to do. Really, there are no excuses for us at this age. A lot of times your children are gone and maybe you couldn't do things earlier because you still had children. All those excuses, they're at the wayside and, they, and you have maybe more time now than you had before. Go after some of those things that you want. Don't let society define you at whatever age you are. You be the definition of how I'm 58. This is how 58 should look right now for me. You know, I take what I got and do the best I can with it and I feel good and I go for it. And I encourage you to do the same. You have a blessed day. Be beautiful. Be you. Be powerful. Be powerfully 50 plus, baby. You got this. We got it. All right. Have a great day. Bye.